Every 70 seconds, someone in the U.S. develops Alzheimer's disease. There is no cure, but there is some new hope. In fact, just this month, the greatest minds in Alzheimer's research gathered in Denmark to talk about the latest breakthroughs, including a nasal spray that could help us beat Alzheimer's. I just felt it right away. Judy Jo Lee knew back in college her husband Tom was the one. Right away we knew we wanted to, to do something with our lives. Tom felt the same. We realized we had a lot of things in common and that's I think what basically attracted us. The two married and began their life together on a mission trip to South Africa. Basically go on an adventure. Now. 50 years later, Judy fondly remembers those times, but after being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease eight years ago, her short-term memory is fading. Some people can't walk very well or run or, and I just, you know, can't hang on to a um, or can't pull things out of my memory as well as I'd like to. Now new research might help. We would be more than happy if there was no improvement but there was no further deterioration. Mm -hmm. The trial, known as SNF, is testing a new insulin nasal spray that could change the way we treat Alzheimer's. Insulin plays a vital role managing your body's blood sugar. Dr. Neelam Agarwal says it also plays a key role in brain function. You see specific areas of the brain, okay, that are not utilizing the sugar the way they should, and that has to do with the insulin receptors. That insulin resistance impacts memory. And these areas of the brain now are not working. The spray will deliver insulin directly to the brain where changes can take place. So if we learn how to modulate the sugar issue and learn how sugar interacts with the brain for brain function, then we have a good chance of slowing down the rates of developing dementia, which is the ultimate goal. In a smaller trial, the spray was shown to improve memory and preserve cognitive function in the early stages of Alzheimer's. With the insulin study, we saw that these areas eventually that were having a dropout basically came back to look like this. Birds are doing their thing. Results the Jolies would be thrilled with.